Did I get it on my nose? Yep, yep I did. Hi everyone, welcome to my video, Bianca Skogan Beauty. All right, today's video, I have a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I do these every once in a while. I like to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is not one trip. Um, over the weeks, over the month, or two months, since last TJ Maxx Marshalls video that I did, I gather things. I like to blow off some steam from work and just walk around TJ Maxx and Marshalls and sometimes I get stuff, sometimes I don't. I don't have enough courage yet to just videotape me actually like searching for things at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, blogging, I guess, or vlogging, vlogging. So I just videotape me at home where in my comfort zone showing you what I've got. And plus it's like, it's the best of the best because I bought it. So I think it's the best stuff. Um, although one day it would probably be more cost efficient to just videotape what's there. So I don't, I'm not buying everything anyways. So I have a haul, mostly KJ Maxx, some Marshalls. If that sounds interesting to you, you're on the right channel and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's get into this. I guess also I went to Ross because I found a Ross thing in here. So TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Ross, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the things that I got like the longest ago to the things that I got two days ago. The first amount of stuff was from TJ Maxx. I got these Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup remover wipes. And I have, like, I remember, oh my gosh, these were $7.99. Ooh, they're kind of pricey. Did I know they were $7.99 when I bought them? I don't know if I would have bought them. No, okay. Okay, okay, this tag came off. This was from somewhere on, okay. The tag is on, I, these Shiseido pads didn't have a tag. And I was like, where did that tag go? It went on these wipes. Okay, okay. These were $3.99. I would never have been paid $7.99 for wipes. Okay, so I remember when Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with these wipes. So many content creators were like, okay, well, we're gonna be seeing these at TJ Maxx. And then like it inspired people to make videos that were like things that we'll probably see at TJ Maxx. And I thought that was so funny because then I saw them at TJ Maxx and so I had to pick them up because uh, I do like to have wipes every once in a while because uh, I, always have swatches on my hands when I'm doing like swatch videos or declutter videos it's the best way to just like clean off the swatches do I like to have a collection of white makeup wipes no because makeup wipes actually are kind of harsh on your face and they're not super great for the environment so do I I, I don't make a habit of having makeup wipes but I'll have like if I get them in a subscription box I'll keep them or if I get them every once in a while from TJ Maxx. And I thought that these were so funny because people were dogging these so hard and they ended up really being, I wonder if it was like cyclical, like because people said they were gonna go to TJ Maxx, nobody bought them and so then they ended up going to TJ Maxx. I don't know, who knows. Next, you already saw, but I got these Shiseido wipes. And okay. I, I have a love-hate relationship with these. These are so, like they're, normally I just use cotton balls or cotton pads and, or the reusable ones. And I got these one time from TJ Maxx. They're really big. They're like this big, each one of them. And so I, I only would need like half of it. And so I heard that some people who have them, they'll like cut them in half. I found that these are the best I know that they're, they're really expensive and this is like a really like luxury brand. So I'm about to tell you that I use these for taking off my nail polish. And that that sounds probably ridiculous because these are so nice, but that I find that they work so well for taking off my nail polish. Like I can use one pad and it takes off like all of my toe nail polish. Whereas with I use cotton balls, I need like one per toe. So. I like these for taking off toenail polish and fingernail polish when I don't have um, acrylics on, which I guess these are not acrylics. These are the dip nails, but anyways, you know what I mean. So that, and those were $7.99. That was one trip. I went to Ross and I got a couple of things. I got three things from Ross. I got from Too Faced, I got the Melted Matte 
lipstick in it is the limited edition liquefied matte longwear lipstick i feel like i could have just said longwear lipstick but you know it is in the smell in the in the color pumpkin spice and it actually smells like pumpkin spice so right now it is august august 1st and to me it is august 1st but in my heart it is pumpkin spice time <laughs> i've actually considered decorating my house for fall and I might do it. So I was able to get this, like I think it was month, two months ago maybe, and it was like not pumpkin spice time, but now it is, yay! So I'm so excited to get this, and I got it for $9.99, which I remember thinking at the time, like $9.99 for a Ross lipstick? Like, that's kind of pricey, but it is Too Faced, and it is pumpkin spice. So could I have gotten this? for the same price at the cosmetics company store? Yes, I'm sure I could have. But do I have to drive an hour away? Even, I think it's like an hour and 20 minutes away to get to the cosmetic company store? Yeah, I do, so. And usually when I'm there, I, I look for like the, I don't know, like the eyeshadow palettes or, or the things that are are bigger more and more percentage off than just lipstick. So I, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on right now. I don't have any lipstick on, so. Did I get it on my nose? Yep, yep I did. That'll be my intro. That was good, I was smelling it. Yeah, yeah, pumpkin spice. That's awesome. I am thrilled to have that. Does it match my eye makeup look? No. Nothing does because this was the palette look and it was a game and I just had to follow the rules. Although I did actually cheat a little bit, but I mostly follow the rules. <laughs> okay, so that was $9.99, a little bit pricey, but you get me with pumpkin spice. You get me. Okay, then from Laura Geller, I actually don't purchase a lot from this brand because there's a couple of reasons. It's not the most like well toted up brand that it doesn't have a lot of advertising about it and I think it's because Laura Geller kind of sells more to the like 40 and up people and so and I'm 36 turning 37 this month and but I mean that means I'm getting there I'm getting closer and I think that it's if you are in the 40 year up this is such a nice like the everything is really good for like aging skin and all of us have our skin is all aging so um i really have been kind of trying to get more into this brand this i feel like is a really fun product from this brand this brand is kind of you know what i said i said it's kind of for um more mature skin and yet look at these colors this is a highlighter palette it's called the glow standard illuminator palette look at those okay let's i these need to be swatched because i don't feel like it is showing the reflection and the the dual chrome nature. Look at those. This one is like, this one right here is like a blue toned highlighter. And this is a pink toned highlighter and a gold tone. Like those are gorgeous, gorgeous. And Laura Geller, I think is really known for her, for her powder foundation and for her highlighters, as far as I'm aware. Anyways, I got it for $5.99. For three highlighters? I mean, I don't think you can beat that. I think that's really good. Okay, lastly, what did I get from Ross? I got a Lime Crime palette. This is the Lime Crime Aura palette. I only have one Lime Crime palette. I got it from an Ipsy, and I really enjoyed the heck out of it. I thought it was so pretty. So, um, you were able actually to see the back on this one, and these are my colors right here. Like, there's quite a few purples, and purple, I love purples, and then maybe kind of a mint, and, and I don't know, I just thought it was really good. So let's see if those colors live up to the back. Okay, nice. Yes, those are just stunning. And I like how big the pan sizes are. Like this is a small palette and we're getting every single amount of like surface area that we can. They are really using this space wisely. <laughs> Anyways, how much did I spend on this? $9.99. $9.99 for a brand new eyeshadow. Well, a brand new as in like it hasn't been swatched. When this was, it, it's not like brand new as in it was just released, but brand new to me palette. And look at, 
like these are really pretty colors. I think they're really pretty. I like them. So happy to have another trip to TJ Maxx. I don't know when these trips were. Again, they were within the last like two months. Another trip to TJ Maxx, I got a headband. And it has pumpkin pies on it. Look at how cute that is. Let's see if you can like uh, see a whole pumpkin pie. Some of them, there's a whole pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay, so I think I got these two months ago. Two months ago was June. And June, nobody else is thinking about pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice. My brain is kind of getting ideas about it, but it wasn't August yet, which it is now. And it was $2, $2. I like to have these headbands when I wash my face. I put my hair up and so my hair doesn't, and these like little baby hairs don't get on, in the water and then the soap. Anyways, I'm really excited to have this. $2 for a pumpkin pie headband. Should I put it on for you all now? Oh my gosh. I mean, that's what you're here for, right? <laughs> Could I make it cuter? Yeah. I'm sure, like this is how I would do it when I'm like washing my face. But if I wanted to like, no, I wouldn't wear this for like being cutesy. Would I? No, that's terrible, but hello. Anyways, I like the little bow. I think it's just an added little cute. I got a Makeup Revolution palette. This I believe is my first or second Makeup Revolution palette. I got that e.l.f. palette, which I think was, I can't find the e.l.f. palette right now. Anyways, I think it was a Makeup Revolution palette, but this will be my second Makeup Revolution palette, I think. And, but you know what caught me? It was a turtle. I absolutely love animals, especially I have a fondness for marine animals because I wanted to be a marine biologist and never got there because I live in a landlocked state, Utah. But <laughs> look at that, look at how pretty that is. Okay, how much did I pay for this? $5.99, okay? And let's actually look at the palette. Beautiful, beautiful summer palette. Look at that, look how shiny that, or like, We've got some mattes, we've got some metallics, we've got some bright colors. I actually have like a bright pink on my um, bottom bottom lid. Is that what it was called? The, the lower lid um, today. So I, I love these. I think they're beautiful and I'm excited to use it. And I absolutely also love, like I feel like I just want to display this because turtle, turtle. I actually bought some things from Menagerie Cosmetics because they have like animals on them. I'm still waiting to, to get those. So I'll do a video of those when I get those. Another trip to TJ Maxx. I got probably one of the most exciting things in this haul. Glam light. Glam light. I saw these and I flipped. I flipped out. I was so excited. And now I've seen other people do hauls where they have gotten these too. So it, it like, I was thrilled, but now I've seen other people get them and I'm like, oh yeah, other people got them too. Okay, so here's the thing. Glam Light has sales on their website. Like I think they were doing a 30% off sale when these were at TJ Maxx. So I sat down in a chair at TJ Maxx and I figured it out because these were $9.99 and originally they are $18. So I figured it out that if I got 30% off of $18, it would still be more than $9.99. Plus I would have had to pay shipping. So I was like, done, deal, signed, sealed, delivered, let's get it. <laughs> so I got it. Purple, purple is my favorite color to wear on my eyes. First of all, I was really excited because, I mean, it's Glam Light, Glam Light and TJ Maxx. So exciting. And these are like brand new palettes, pretty much. Second of all, I was like, oh my gosh, these are like sealed. There's no way that these could be touched. That's amazing. No, like I was thinking that you have to like, here's the little notch here. I was thinking you have to like rip the notch to be able to open these. Nah, you can just open them. So anybody could have opened these. Um, but I did open them in store and make sure that there were, you know, they hadn't been swatched. And they hadn't. Look at that, so pretty. I'm so excited to use that. That one actually looks kind of duochrome. Yeah, look at that. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use that one. This one is the Special Dark, which is funny because I actually don't like dark chocolate. I wish I did because it has antioxidant, antioxidants, but I don't like it. 
I my favorite chocolate is white chocolate, which is like the least healthy chocolate, but you know, you like what you like. Then I got the pink one, which is the lava cake ones. I do I do like the lava cake ones. Those are delicious. You know, during Valentine's Day, they have all they have like all the special kind of um, Hershey Kisses. Oh my gosh, they have so many delicious kinds during Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, look how pretty this one is. Oh my gosh, I usually don't really wear like pink eyeshadow because I'm afraid that it's gonna make me look like I have pink eye, but I feel like it has some dimension that like we've got some like burgundies here and then this one has some duochrome and then this one's almost a little bit purple. So like truly there's only like two true pinks in here. So those could just be like, I don't know, accent colors or something. I don't know. I think, I feel like they did a, a pink, a pink palette for me. Um, it, it's not a true, a, a very good, like true pink palette, but I like it. I think it's perfect. And I'm glad to have it. My last trip to TJ Maxx, I got the ABH Norvina palette. I have been seeing content creators pick this up or seeing it at their um, TJ Maxx's. And I went to, every single time I went, I didn't see it. And I was like, oh, I want to see it. I want to see it there. And then this time there were two of them. There was this one and another one. And the other one was more of a rainbowy kind of palette. And I have um, a lot of palettes. I do. I have a lot of palettes. And so this one called more to me. It is the Norvina ABH collection. Does it have a number? Um, palette volume, mini pro pigment palette volume one. And it says for face and body. Oh, you could use this on your body. Interesting. I don't think I would, but that is interesting. <laughs> Look what, what you find out when you read instructions. I love how little and compact it is. And then it also has so many shadows in it for how compact it is. Look, it's compared to the Lime Crime one. It's even smaller than the Lime Crime one. Same amount of shadows as the Lime Crime. Actually, I'm seeing how kind of similar these are. Well, that's okay. <laughs> no, I dug my finger into it. Ugh. These, obviously, these shadows call to me. Purple, purples, and, and, and these two could be, you know, that's from my inner corner. Ugh, I just, I feel like this is a really good palette. <laughs> I really like it. I, how much did I pay for it? $9.99. So both of these palettes were $9.99. Actually, I think this one to me, like ABH, to me is a higher end brand than Lime Crime. And so I would be more like, I'm not upset that I paid 9 dollars 9 for this one because this one has, uh, let's see if it, it has like pick how much each one has in there. This one was actually made in Italy and I think this one was made in the USA. Yes, made in the USA. So both made in really nice places. I do kind of like made in the USA support, you know, where I'm living. This one though has much more actual eyeshadow. This one has 1.56 grams per shade and this one has one gram per shade. So this one is is a fair bit bigger. So I think I did good. I mean this one to me uh, is smaller but a better brand and this one is bigger and still a good brand and both $9.99. Okay anyways I went on for that for a while. My Beauty has now gone out of business, except for that they still have their lip labs open in several places around the United States and maybe the world, I don't know. Anyways, this is, um, I have a couple of Bite Beauty products, some that I bought before they went out of business, some that I bought because they were going out of business and they were like half off. Um, this one is the Boundary Breaker. It is a setting powder and in the shade Lychee, Lychee, Lychee. Lychee, lychee, in the shade lychee. And it's kind of like a, a pinky purple color. And I think from what I've heard, Bite never actually even had the opportunity to put this one out um, on their like website. It just went straight to TJ Maxx. So that one is kind of kind of sad, but kind of cool that we get the opportunity, us bargain shoppers who go to TJ Maxx to try it. It was $7.99. Um, I don't think I'll be able to come up with a real tail price on that one. By the way, it's all the way at the end of this video, but I will have the retail prices or as close that I can get in my description box. Um, because when you go to TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Ross, everything is there because it probably was at a department store or um, Sephora or something like that and, and wasn't selling. And so they most likely, I think that's why they send it to TJ Maxx. It's hard to get the actual retail prices. So I'll try my best, but no guarantees. Anyways, this is pretty, like to you, it just looks white, but to me it is like a, 
a very faint purpley pink color. It will brighten up the skin tone. So really nice. Okay, last but not least. Oh my goodness. I, the only thing that I got from Marshalls, it's so funny because I said it was a Marshalls TJ Maxx video and I only got one thing from Marshalls and I got three things from Matt Ross. Well, anyways, um, it's because I went to Marshalls last. That was the last store I went to. So it was, it was closest in my brain. <laughs> okay, it is a makeup brush holder. This was $4.99 at Marshalls. Okay, do I need a pumpkin makeup brush holder? No, let me show you guys my makeup brush holder I have now. It's a mermaid. It says mermaid at heart. This is perfect for me. It's perfect because I am a mermaid at heart and I don't need one for every season. But for $4.99, I thought it would be so cute to have like the more decorations the merrier. So I wanted it and I got it and I'm so excited about it. I, I, I saw it and I was like, in my cart. In my cart now. <laughs> okay, so that is all that I have from my TJ Maxx Marshalls and Ross haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like watching me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to watch more of my videos, click the bell. All right, most importantly, remember to have a, uh, remember to be nice to yourself and have a great day. Bye.